Welcome back to the OA Show. We're going to start this week off with Melody at the Zoo. Roll clip. Hello, and welcome back to Melody at the Zoo. We were on hiatus for a little bit, but I'm back now. Just a really quick warning before I get started. This, If you are afraid of large lizards or uncomfortable around them, I'm giving you a quick warning because this, the whole of this episode will have pictures of big lizards, but I encourage you to stick around because it'll be really interesting. So, a couple of days ago, it was Appreciate a Dragon Day, and I appreciate dragons. I will always appreciate dragons. So, we're going to cover three dragon-esque species, starting with the Komodo dragon. Now, these guys are massive. They are the largest of the monitor family, which is a family of lizards that are really good at swimming and very good at climbing. These guys are, in particular, are really good at swimming. They can get six to seven feet in length as well as they are one of the only lizards that are truly venomous meaning if they bite you you could die the second lizard on my list is the white-throated monitor the white-throated monitor is actually a species we keep in the oakland zoo we don't keep komodo dragons i wish we did but we do not And these guys are found in southern Africa, near Zambia and Mozambique, and they are the second largest monitor species in this world, getting around 6 feet and 25 pounds. The third and final dragon on this list is my personal favorite, and it is the black tree monitor. Now, unlike the Komodo dragon that are really good at climbing and the white-throated monitors are really good at swimming, the Komodo dragon is, and the white-throated monitors that are really good at climbing rocks, these guys are extremely good at climbing trees. They are gorgeous jet black lizards that get about three feet-ish three to four feet, and the really cool thing about these guys is they have prehensile tails. Yes, prehensile just like a monkey's. They'll wrap that tail around the tree and and use that for balance. Unfortunately, unlike monkeys, you will not find these guys swinging around the trees. I hope you guys learned something in this episode, and I will see you next week. Bye. Always great to have you on the show, Melody. Now it's time for Boba with Therese, brought to you by Sue Porter. Roll clip. Hey guys, so it's Therese, and I'm here with you with Boba Reviews for Simon, of course. Uh, So I got Mr. Green Bubble in Walnut Creek, and I got a passion fruit green tea with 0% sweetness, no ice, um, and Boba clearly. So I'd give it a 5 out of 5. So... I feel like they're both the, so the boba itself so I think it's pretty good I think it's not too chewy but it's not like you know too tough to chew which I really like like I, if, I don't know if, how, how else to explain it um I don't think the boba's as good as boba guys but I think that the tea itself makes up for it a lot so I think that I got zero percent sweetness and I think it's pretty good like it has a really weird aftertaste to it like it tastes like apple which doesn't really make sense but I don't really hate it so it doesn't really um have a negative effect for on it for me and I really like how they have reusable cups also sadly um you can't bring in the the cups to get a discount but you can use I use the cups to hold my pens and pencils or like random stuff I have lying around the house I think I saw the cups at my dad's house and he puts um, some screws in it, so I mean, you do whatever, and yeah, that's it, okay, I recommend if you guys ever want some boba, go to, um, Mr. Green Mobile, oh, and their prices aren't that bad, the, this drink was $4.50, and of course I tipped, you know, gotta be generous, um, so yeah, um, the price isn't as cheap as, uh, T4, but it's cheaper than, like, some place, it's cheaper than shared tea, I think, yeah, this drink was cheaper, more affordable, and I like how it's not too sweet either because I got 0% sweetness and some places still have the drink really sweet, which really irritates me, but yeah, okay, so I really recommend it, and yeah, yay, bye. 
This week's Boba Review was brought to you by Sue Porter. Thanks again. Okay, that's all for the show this week. I'll see you next week on The OA Show. Blue Jays out.